Hello and welcome back to our channel, Aiming for My Best Self. In this tutorial, we will explore creating a basic setup for Octane Render in a standalone version, providing a solid foundation for your rendering projects. We begin by optimizing our workspace. We will maximize the Node Graph Editor for full visibility of our workflow. For efficiency, we will create a custom workspace that includes only the Node Graph and Node Inspector, eliminating the need to constantly switch between maximized and minimized modes. The central element of our setup is the Render Target node, which we will add first. This represents the foundation of our rendering process. Next, we will implement the camera system. We will use a camera switch to manage three distinct cameras, offering flexibility in choosing perspectives. After adding the cameras, we will notice the need to extend the camera switch to accommodate the third camera. For superior organization, we will group these elements, allowing quick access to the camera subgraph with a simple double click. For the rendering process itself, we will integrate the path tracing kernel, known for its versatility in most scenarios. We will keep the default settings, noting that adjusting the ray epsilon parameter may be necessary in certain scenes to avoid artifacts. The lighting of our scene will be managed by the daylight system, providing a realistic simulation of a cloudless sky and sun. We will take advantage of Octane Render's ability to use two distinct environment systems, one for lighting and another for the rendering background. In our setup, we will connect the daylight system to both for consistency. We will configure the geographic and temporal parameters, choosing a location in Eastern Europe, setting a summer day, with a GMT offset of zero and the time at 4 p.m. The north offset will allow us to finally adjust the sun's position. To refine the final result, we will add an imager node, which gives us control over exposure, denoising, and hot pixel removal. Complementarily, we will also include a post-processing node for additional adjustments. The technical aspects of rendering will be managed through the film settings and image resolution nodes, grouped under the name Resolution. These will allow us to precisely define the dimensions of our output. Finally, to facilitate the integration and manipulation of geometry in our scene, we will add two essential groups, Geometry Switch and Geometry Group. The former will allow switching between different geometric elements, while the latter will serve as a container for multiple geometric elements simultaneously in the scene. This setup provides a solid and flexible foundation for static rendering projects in Octane, allowing for further adjustments and extensions based on the specific requirements of each project. Now, we'll let you see this simple project in action. Wow! We've reached the end! Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe! This helps us grow the channel and learn more together! Have a wonderful day!